Hi, I'm Jessica Lefebvre. I'm here from Bissell Center. Um, welcome all to our next set of presentations. Um, as you probably noticed, they are videotaping um, all the presentations that are happening today, and they'll be available on the library website um, in the next week or two. Um, so if you weren't able to catch any of the presentations that were this morning from Street Outreach and Outreach Housing, or aren't able to make it this afternoon, our next set of uh, presentations are at 1 o'clock, and that will include 24-7 um, crisis diversion, our social work team from the library, as well as um, harm reduction, street works will be here as well. Um, so today we have Water Wings program from Boyle Street. Um, we have John and Neelam here. They're, what Water Wings is really about finding a stable job, um, maybe all that it is needed for someone to be able to remain housed or be able to continue providing a nurturing home for their family. Water Wings offers flexible one-on-one -on -one on site education and job skills programs as a first step to continuing education and better wages. So I'll leave it to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Neelam. I'm the program coordinator in downtown uh, Water Wings program in Wally Street. And my name is John. I've been in the employment readiness program for, uh, this is going on my third year now. Yeah, we are here to talk about uh, the program. Actually, Water Wings is an employment readiness program uh, in Boyle Street. Our main focus is to help our people, community uh, members, to be ready for the job that helps them to, you know, uh, get rid of so many problems in their life. Uh, uh, we are going to talk about, uh, you know, the process, uh, uh, the eligibility, uh, other more information about the program. Okay, so why does our program exist? Well, first of all, I just want to give you a little bit of a background of uh, Water Wings. So we started in 2010, and when we started our program, it was first of all kind of more of an academic program. So people were coming and they were learning, you know, math and science and that sort of thing. Uh, what we did see uh, fairly quickly as we began uh, our program was that people actually were coming with needs that went much beyond their academic needs. They had job readiness needs. And when we're talking about job readiness needs, we're talking about, you know, do they have a resume that's going to capture someone's attention, the attention of an employer? Is it well formatted? Is it organized the way it should be? Um, are they able to conduct an interview in such a way that's going to, they're going to provide answers that are appropriate and are going to show that they're the per best person for the job? Uh, actually, you know, uh, as he mentioned, uh, our main focus would be, you know, supported learning. Uh, we believe that, okay, if uh, you have, uh, you know, one-on-one -on -one supported learning, it gives you chance, more chance to, you know, to develop your interview skills and other skills that helps you to be ready for the job. So what is it that makes our program unique? Well, our program is a flexible self-paced program. And really what that means is you can come and you can leave our program whenever it works for you. So we uh, gear our programs towards the schedule of our, our clients. Um, really, you know, unemployed people, they need to get to work as soon as possible. And we recognize that. So we're trying to help people gain those skills that are going to help them to get to work as soon as possible. Uh, especially, you know, what do you expect or what do you need from our program? What you can, or whatever services you can get from our program. Especially, we do have a different employment readiness program that helps you to be ready for the job. Like we do have, uh, you know, we help you to build, okay, build up your resume. We help you to develop your interview skills. Plus, we do have some other programs that helps you to be eligible for, you know, applying for certain jobs. Like we do have different type of safety tickets like CSTS, WMS, or Standard Frost Aid. Okay, so you can see some of the uh, job readiness services that are available at Water Wings. I'll, I'm going to give you a, just a little bit of a, an insight into how our process works. So first of all, someone's going to come into our program. They're going to get a registration or an orientation. We're just going to go over the basics of how the program works. Then after that, we'll do a workshop. And sometimes people ask us, you know, why do we have to do this workshop? Well, they're going to gain a number of key skills. So the first of all, uh, how do you uh, conduct an effective job search in 2016? You know, I always tell clients, sometimes the way we think employers are looking for us is actually different than the way that they are looking for us. And so we talk about, for instance, we talk about the uh, hidden job market. A lot of people aren't aware of that there is a hidden job market. 
So that's the first uh, key part of it. The next part is we're going to talk about resumes. And we look at different types of resumes and you know what are the parts of a resume and again, how do you produce one that's well organized? It's really going to capture the attention of an employer. Then the last thing we do is we look over some uh, practice interview questions. They're not the only good you know, interview questions that are out there, but they are some really good interview questions and it gives people that first chance to really uh, get some good feedback on what are some appropriate responses to these questions. Uh, you can see we offer a number of other services as well. You know, some people come to our program and they don't have identification, so we help them get ID. Uh, we help them with the trades. Just, you know, how do you get started with the trades? You go on tradesecrets.ab.ca and get started with that. But we also offer practice exams as well. So they can do the practice exam. It's got a little bit of math, a little bit of English, a little bit of science. And then we can give them some feedback on how to improve in those areas. Uh, Actually, you know, we do have other K services available as well. K, you can come register to the program and you can get some uh, safety ticket. That is what we call safety tickets, right? That helps you to, you know, be eligible to apply for the job. Like, to be a construction worker, you have to have your CSTS. Otherwise, you will not be eligible. You will not be qualified to be a construction worker. We provide them K okay, free. We do have some other ticket like basic food safety, and we are working on developing a different course uh, for advanced uh, K food safety as well. Uh, we do have a certified forklift training. You know, we can provide you uh, OSA fall prediction, uh, WMS 2015, standard frosted and CPR, uh, plus flagger training, OSA confined space. And based on your need, if you have job confirmation, and if you need some more other training as, as well, you can just come and talk to the staff and we can help you to provide other training as well. But you have to have job confirmation if those trainings are not here in the list, okay? We've also uh, developed a number of unique courses. We refer to those as certificate uh, program courses. Uh, some of those uh, are, for example, janitorial work uh, and also hospitality training. The reason behind that is we found that some of those courses have really given people a leg up to have that uh, specified knowledge uh, that will help them to get a job. And, and these are free courses we offer in our program. So for example, when uh, Rogers Place was, uh, you know, while it was still in the process of being built, uh, Aramark was, you know, the company that was uh, providing the hospitality uh, jobs there. And so we provided people with that job, you know, uh, with the training rather, uh, for, uh, janitorial training. And uh, we actually, you know, shortly after one of our clients took that course, he was able to get a job in busing, which was pretty similar to the janitorial training. Uh, so we do find that these extra courses are really beneficial as well. And uh, as you can see on the slide, the practicum is a really important part of these certificate programs. Uh, now let's talk about, you know, uh uh, some requirements that how you go through the program, what happens actually once you register to the program, what is the actual process? Uh, let me talk about that, okay? Uh, first, uh, you know, you need to register to the program. If you have, you know, your photo ID, if you are eligible to work okay, in Canada legally, you can register to the program. Uh, once you enroll to the program, there are a couple of things. That is what we call pre-ticket requirements. You have to go through, you have to go, get them done. Like uh, you need to attend one workshop. That workshop will be, our, uh, okay, will be about job search, resume and interview workshop. Uh, you need to do online job search. Our main priority is to see all people being able to navigate internet. If you don't have that uh, basic computer literacy, our teachers will train you. Uh, and then you need to participate in a mock interview that helps you to develop your interview skills. And you have to have your electronic copy of your resume. If you have one resume, our worker would go through your resume to make sure that your resume is standard. Uh, and then, after you complete all four things, enrollment, attending a okay, workshop, doing online uh, job search, participating in mock interview, plus getting resume done, you can start your training. All those things should be done before you start the training. Okay, as you can see, we do offer a number of other services as well. And uh, sometimes people come to our program and they have sp specific needs. And some of these needs might present barriers for them getting employment. Uh, so for example, sometimes people might say, you know, I don't have transportation. And so we do provide uh, free bus tickets in our program. If uh, someone's been in our program for three hours during a day, you know, working on job-related activities, we will provide them with uh, free bus tickets. There are some other things you can see there as well. For example, we will provide people with uh, 
a reference letter. Sometimes people say, you know, I have a reference letter, but I could use another one. So we will provide, you know, kind of a character reference letter. Uh, also, a letter for social assistance as well. We can do that also. Uh, I mentioned earlier with the trades. We help people get started with the trades. Uh, so that's another service we provide as well. Yeah, and one more thing, we provide different type of PPEs as well. If you have job confirmation, we do have work boots, uh, hard hats, gloves, uh, safety vests, suspenders, they are free for you. What you have to do is to come with job confirmation. Uh, it has to be three months plus long-term job contract. If you have that job confirmation, you get those PPEs free as well. Just for the benefit of anyone who doesn't know, PPE is personal protective yeah, oh, personal. equipment. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, our hours of operation, you can see what they are. Or, or rather, I'm sorry, these are uh, two locations. Mm -hmm. And you can see we have our main office, and we also have uh, a new office we opened last year, which is known as the Northeast Employment Hub. Uh, it's just off Victoria Trail, just a little bit north of there. And so uh, two offices serving two uh, unique locations of the city. Uh, our, our hours of operation, 9 to 4, Monday to Friday, except Thursday we will be closed in the afternoon for the staff uh, meeting plus professional development stuff. Uh, 12 to 1 is our lunch time. Uh, for the new, you know, community members, for the new clients to register, our registration hours are uh, 9 a.m. Monday to Friday, except Tuesday in downtown. Uh, and in Northeast Hub, 1 p.m. Monday, Wednesday and Friday and 9 a.m. Tuesday and Thursday. This is the okay, new intake uh, hours. And some pictures, a janitorial custodian practicum student from last uh, training. Uh, yeah. I was just going to mention really quickly uh, the picture you saw of that gentleman there. Um, he was uh, originally from Ethiopia, came to Canada, had just come to Canada fairly recently. Um, and he was, you know, already quite experienced in janitorial work, but that ticket, you know, getting that janitorial ticket is, is really useful. And uh, what we also provided during this practicum is an opportunity to operate, you know, kind of more sophisticated, larger piece of equipment like the auto scrubber that you can see here, uh, and also the buffer as well. So, yeah. Uh, we do have some pictures that you can see. It's our hospitality practicum, uh, students doing the practicum uh, after the training. We do have some, you know, pictures for you. Uh, we do have one sort of video which we may not have time to, you know. Yeah, we can go for it? Okay, okay. Well, cool. If I could just introduce this really quickly, this gentleman's name was Saud Siddiqui and he obtained employment uh, at PCL, uh, the company that was building the Rogers Place Stadium. Um, we actually were fortunate, you know, to have a really great relationship with them and they hired you know, quite a few of our clients. Um, and he did very well in his job. Uh, he actually rose to a supervisory position after a short while. So, yeah. so let's let him play the video. It was six months ago that Saud Siddiqui walked out of that interview room and began his job as a laborer across the street. We caught up with him today. And he appears to be making the most of the door that's been opened. I do got to raise, they, they raise me a couple dollars because they, they notice people, what they're doing or what they're about not doing, right? Siddiqui, who began as a laborer, is now a safety representative for other workers. I'm the middleman, so it comes to me, all the issues, and from there I pass it on to the big guys. The person who hired him says PCL is so happy with his work ethic, he now has the chance to begin apprenticing as a carpenter. It's a rarity to see people with his enthusiasm and passion uh, for his job. Sometimes you need to take a chance and provide opportunity, and uh, you can be pleasantly surprised at the results that can happen. And the man running the Water Wings program hopes people take note of Siddiqui's success. We depend on private contributors as well as governments to contribute funding to our program. And if they know that the program is making a difference in the lives of people, they're more likely to fund us. Siddiqui just grateful for the opportunity. I had a lot of bumps. I burned a lot of bridges. You know, I made a lot of people cry. Everybody deserves a chance. I got the chance and I made these people happy. In downtown Edmonton, David Awas, 6 CTV News. Now, if you have any questions, any concerns, you can access it. Do you have any questions? Feel free. And if you need any, uh, pros, okay, you know, uh, pamphlets and browsers, so we do have them here. 
uh, with all the information uh, on it. Yeah, so again, most days our registrations are at 9 o'clock. Uh, the exception is Tuesday when it's 1 o'clock. In downtown. Downtown, yeah. yeah. The other important thing is we take only frost 10 people because of limited resources. The frost 10, frost 10, it is frost come, frost serve. We don't have any okay, appointment, no booking, no pre-reservation. So it's just a walk-in. So we recommend people to come a bit early, maybe 5, 10 minutes before, because people line up there. Mm -hmm. Anybody else have any burning questions? No, it can be in uh, both the locations. So in Northeast office, one Monday, one, the other day, nine. So one, nine, one, nine. So it can be there in both sides. Yeah. Thank you. Any, any other questions? Hmm? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks very much. Yeah. Um, thank you to you both for joining us. So we've had a change in schedule. Um, what will be happening moving forward is we'll have a break and we'll start back at one o'clock. Um, there's going to be three presentations back to back, uh, Streetworks and then 24-7 Crisis Diversion from REACH, um, followed by the outreach service uh, workers from the Edmonton Public Library. They'll each be half hour presentations after one o'clock. So thank you very much for joining us.